So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on and talk about the whole Ray Carruth situation. So if you guys don't know, Ray Carruth is currently trending all over social media. Now a few months ago, I had to drag his big football head ass because he had the audacity to basically write an open letter to the Charlotte Observer stating that he wanted custody of Chancellor, the little boy that almost died the night that him and several men plotted to murder his mother, Sharika Adams. Now Sharika Adams ended up dying, but poor Chancellor, he ended up getting like cerebral palsy. He has a lot of medical issues and the grandmother has been the one taking care of him. When we first met Chancellor Lee Adams, he was 12 going on 13, but a preteen in name only. Suffering from cerebral palsy, he needed assistance to walk and had little cognitive ability. But today, almost four years later, You're doing good. You're doing really good. The strides he has made are remarkable. The result of hard work on his part and the never-ending love and support of the grandmother he calls G-Mom. Let me get a hug. This young man, he is so dedicated so focused. He puts his whole heart into his therapy and everything 100%. Sandra Adams has been the primary caregiver of the boy she calls Lee since her daughter Sharika gave birth to him in November of 1999, barely an hour after being ambushed in a hail of bullets and making this frightening call to 911. You were driving and someone shot you? I'm eight months pregnant. Okay, ma'am, you're eight months pregnant. You've been shot. Ma'am, stay with me. How did this happen? I don't know. Breaker was the All right, what's his name? So back in March, I had to drag him. And then he came out later on that month and basically released a new statement um, at the end of March saying that he would no longer be pursuing custody of Chancellor. And this is what Ray Carruth had to say a few months ago. Check this out. So in his second open letter to the Charlotte Observer, Ray Carruth writes, for all those involved or invested in this ordeal, please calm down. I will no longer be pursuing a relationship with Chancellor and Miss Adams. I promise to leave them be, which I now see is in everyone's best interest. Yes, sir, you made the right damn decision, Mr. Ray Carruth. Anyhow, Ray Carruth got out today. Um, you know, he served his 19 years. And when I tell you his ass ah! out that damn prison parking lot, y'all go ahead and check out these two videos. All right, former Carolina Panthers wide receiver Ray Carruth will be a free man. He served 18 years in the Sampson County Correctional Facility in Clinton for plotting to kill the mother of his child. That child survived. Chancellor. He suffers from cerebral palsy as a result of that shooting. Tonight, Karut's attorney, David Rudolph, talks about his client's troubled past, his time behind bars, and what's next for Ray Carruth. In 2001, when Ray Carruth was convicted and sentenced on conspiracy to commit murder and other charges, attorney David Rudolph was at his side. At the time, Ray was hanging out with people he should have not been hanging out with. Rudolph is referring to Van Brett Watkins, the man convicted of shooting and killing Tarika Adams on a November night in 1999. Prosecutors maintained Carruth hired Watkins to kill Adams because he didn't want to pay child support. Adams was seven months pregnant. Carruth and his attorney continued to dispute that claim. What he says is, it was my fault morally. Uh, I wasn't trying to get her killed, uh, but I'm responsible for that on a moral sense, and he feels great remorse. Rudolph says in almost two decades behind bars, Carruth is a man who has come to terms with his fate. Uh, he's matured. Uh, he's much more introspective than he used to be. Uh, and I think he wants to get out of North Carolina. Carruth has publicly said he wants to return to California where his family lives. Rudolph says what he most wants for his client is for him to find peace with Chancellor's grandmother, Sharika's mom, that there can be some sort of a, uh, a reconciliation of some sort. And, and I hope he can, he can have a real relationship with Chancellor going forward. 
Well, Rudolph maintains Van Brett Watkins targeted Sharika Adams because Carruth backed out of a drug deal. Who hired a hitman to kill his pregnant girlfriend. Well, he is now out of prison this afternoon. Ray Carruth walked out of that Sampson County prison just hours ago. And we were there. CBS 17's Holden Krawicki was there when it happened and joins us with those details. After nearly two decades in jail, Ray Carruth walked out of the gates behind me, a free man this morning just after 8 o'clock. And while it's not clear who greeted him as he was released, he jumped into a Tahoe and quickly sped off. I never thought that I would um, make it this far to see him get out. The former Panther standout was convicted in 2001 on conspiracy charges after he hired a hitman in 1999 to kill his pregnant girlfriend, Sharika Adams. Their child, Chancellor Lee Adams, survived and turns 19 next month, but he suffers from cerebral palsy due to challenges from that shooting. Sharika Adams' mother, Sandra, has been his primary caregiver. I feel responsible for everything that happened, and I just want her to know that truly I am sorry for everything. Adams' mother and Cruz's son were both expected to be in Clinton as Carruth was released from prison, but I was told by a source close to the family that after Carruth sent a letter apologizing for the murder, they had second thoughts. I'm apologizing for the loss of her daughter. I'm apologizing for the impairment of my son. While it's not clear where he is going or what he will do next, Carruth will spend the next nine months on post-release while meeting regularly with a parole officer. In Clinton, North Carolina, Holden Krawicki, CBS 17 News. I don't even want to see Ray Carruth go to hell. I want him to come to repentance because Ray is never going to have peace in his life until he tells the truth. In the past, I didn't think it mattered that he just do his time, get out, be free, go along his way. But I think as the time gets closer for him to get out, I am feeling very differently. Part of me wants to be there the day he walks out so he can acknowledge his son. And then there's part of me that just wants to be chilling out on a beach somewhere on October 22nd and not even thinking about that it's October 22nd. Hey, come here. You see Mommy Angel's grace? Yeah. Huh? Aren't those pretty? Yeah. Sharika Adams. Yeah. Mommy Angel. I think it's written in all sincerity, mm -hmm. and um, I believe he's doing his best to warn me of the person that he knows. And um, I actually feel some of the same kind of way. Ray would never come back here and do anything, but that doesn't mean he wouldn't send someone. So I am a little anxious, and I'm not gonna live in fear, but I'm taking a lot of precautions because he usually gets somebody else to do his dirty work and we're gonna protect Lee. All right, y'all, I just saw that video of Ray Carruth getting the hell up out of prison, honey. He said he's free and he's out. So this is causing a lot of debate. You know, some folks are mad. They're saying he should still be in there. How dare that he's able to come out and still live his life. You know, at the end of the day, he was sentenced to 19 years in prison and he served every last one of those 19 years, okay? It doesn't matter how much you bitch and whine unless he, you know, violates probation or does something else to end up back in prison. He's a free man. That's how the criminal justice system works. Am I saying it's fair that he was only sentenced to 19 or 20 years? No, I think he should have been sentenced to life. You know what I mean? Because it was because of him and him plotting with all these guys that Sharika Adams lost her life. She's never able to enjoy life again. You know, her son is severely disabled because of his actions you know but at the end of the day bitching whining and you know and crying twitter tears is not going to place him back in prison hopefully ray caruth can you know come out and you know try and do something meaningful with his life you know maybe go around speaking to people and letting people know about his decisions and you know try and try and write this horrible wrong that he did 
you know, hopefully he doesn't become cocky and arrogant and turn into another version of OJ, you know what I mean? And then wind his ass back up in prison. Hopefully he takes this as a second chance. You know, granted he can't do anything for his son and he doesn't need to be around his son, but maybe he can try and better the lives of other people. You know, I don't know what he can do, what he should do. That's for Ray Carruth to dig within himself and within his soul to figure that out. At the end of the day, he's out, he's free, and there's nothing nobody can do about it. You know, it does suck. You know, because I've been invested in this story from day one. I remember when it happened and I remembered I moved down to Charlotte back in 2003. And this was a very hot case at the time. You know, the trial was a huge trial. You know, you're dealing with the NFL player, the Carolina Panthers, and, you know, just everything that just comes with this. You know, her being pregnant and him not wanting the baby. And it caused a lot of debate and a lot of discussion. So it's very interesting to see how this has played out, you know, 19 years later. You know, I do feel like he should have gotten more time in prison but I'm not gonna go ahead and put any energy into that he's out and he's free it is what it is so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Ray Carruth being free today after 19 years and social media being in an uproar how do you guys feel about this do you feel like you know what he served his time he's free there's really nothing else people can do or do you feel like you know that the criminal justice system failed and he should still be in prison so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.